In this video lesson, you will learn on how to identify if a function is continuous or not. So there are two ways on how to identify if a function is continuous or not. So first, if function f is continuous at x is equal to c, if it satisfies the following conditions. So first, the limit of the function as x approaches c exists. So the limit of the given function must be defined. It must not be infinitely undefined or indeterminate. Letter B, f of c exists. So the value of the given function must also be defined. So if the value of the given function is infinity, therefore it is undefined or indeterminate. And thus, it is no longer continuous. And the third one, the limit of the given function must equal to its value. So the value that you will get from letter A and letter B must be equal. So if not, it does not satisfy the third rule. Therefore, we can conclude that the function or the given function is not continuous. So for example, number one, determine if the function x squared minus 1 is continuous at x is equal to negative 2. So first, let's check the first condition by finding the limit of the given function. So in this function, we will follow four limit laws. First is the limit of the function x. The limit of x as x approaches negative 2. And then second is the power theorem. Should be raised to 2. And then third one is the subtraction theorem. And then applying the limit loss for the constant term. As x approaches negative 2. So, the limit of x as x approaches negative 2 is equal to negative 2. And then squared minus the limit of 1 as x approaches negative 2 is equal to 1. So, negative 2 squared is equal to positive 4 minus 1 is equal to 3. So, 3 is a definite value. So, the value of the limit of the given function in number 1 is a defined value. So, therefore... It satisfies the first condition. So next, f of negative 2 is equal to x squared minus 1. So let's find the value of the given function. So add x is equal to negative 2. So x is equal to negative 2. So negative 2 squared minus 1. So this is just the same as with the first uh, condition. So 4 minus 1 is also equal to 3. So 3 is a definite value or defined value, so therefore it satisfies the second condition. And as you can observe, they are equal. So therefore we can say that it also satisfies the third rule. So the limit of the function is equal to its value. So 3 is equal to 3. So the given function for number 1 satisfies the first, second, and the third condition. So therefore, we can conclude that the function x squared minus 1 is continuous at x is equal to negative 2. For example, number 2, determine if the function 4x squared minus 3x plus 5 is continuous at x is equal to 2. Checking for the first condition, let's find the limit of the given function. So in this problem, we can also use substitution method instead of following some limit loss. So we can use the value of c which is 2 as the value of excess in this equation. So 4 times 2 squared minus 3 times 2 plus 5. So 4 times 2 squared is 4. So 4 times 4 is 16 minus 6 plus 5. 16 minus 16 is 10 plus 5 is equal to 15. So 15 is a defined value. So therefore, it satisfies the first condition. For the second condition, f of c must exist. So this is just the same as with the first condition by substitution. We will come up with the same value as with letter a, which is equal to 15. And as you can observe, the value of a and b are the same, or they are equal. So therefore, we can already conclude that it satisfies the third condition. The limit of the given function for number 2 is equal to its value. 
So therefore, the given function for number 2 satisfies all the three conditions. So therefore, we can conclude that the given function is continuous at x is equal to 2. For example, number 3, determine if the function x squared plus 3x plus 1 over x minus 1 is continuous at x is equal to 1. So first, finding the limit. So again, we can also use substitution method instead of following limit loss. And in just one look, we already know that we will get an undefined value. So if we substitute the value of x as 1, denominator is x minus 1. So 1 minus 1 is equal to 0. So we will get an undefined value here. So undefined value if the denominator is equal to 0. So therefore, the limit of the given function does not exist. And thus, it does not satisfy the first condition, as well as with letter B, finding the value of the given function. So this is the same as with letter A. So it is also undefined or it does not exist. So the function for number 3 does not satisfy the first and second condition. So therefore, it is not continuous at x is equal to 1. The satisfying even one of the three conditions for continuity can lead to discontinuity of the function. The second way for identifying if the given function is continuous or not is by graphing. So this is just easy as ABC. So if your graph looks like this, and this one that is continuous. Aside from that is it looks like this one or this one. As if you are graphing your function without lifting your pen. So your function is continuous. And on the other hand, if your graph looks like this, So there is a breakage in the graph. So you have to lift your pen just to draw the rest of the graph. Therefore, it is not continuous. Aside from that is, if your graph looks like this, and then you have to draw the other one, so you have to lift your pen again, therefore it is not continuous. Aside from that, if your graph looks like this, so the other graph is this one. So you have again you have to lift your pen for graphing the first and the second graph. If your graph looks like this, then you have to lift your pen again just to draw the rest of the graph. So literally, there is a discontinuity in the graph. So therefore, the function is not continuous. So there is a breakage in the graph. So literally, it is not continuous.